My vacancy, a flat effect. Only I feel the black dog paratroopers drop behind my eyes. Disability Without Poverty is proud to present Artivism Spotlight. Victor Enns. People have to, to understand that however crazy artists have been in the past, they've been successful in spite of their problems and their mental illness, for example, uh, not uh, because of it. What gets me is when people tell me I'm not living in the real world because I'm an artist, right? Well, that's not the real world. <laughs> you want to tell me I pay rent, you know, I pay taxes. I live in a house. I'm worried about the gas prices. What? What's not real about this? I had the amputation and in 2018 because uh, they couldn't guarantee me less pain with another ankle fusion and it didn't work the first time so you're offering it to me again why would i do that <laughs> uh, uh, and in fact they were kind of surprised at how quickly i rehab but it had to do with my wanting to give my time to my work to make something the book jacket of love and surgery published by Radiant Press in 2019. I was describing the pain in my foot and my doctor was saying, oh, it's healing, it's healing. Well, it turns out I don't have the foot anymore. Look, an exhibition by Victor Enns and Murray Taves. The reason the show that we're doing in November is called Look is to get people to understand that it hurts. <laughs> you know, there is pain. We do cry. I mean, it's, uh, it's something nobody really wants to see or acknowledge. Uh, and, uh, you know, people cross the street to avoid it. I mean, or look the other way. From Dead Mennonites by Victor Enns. Look. I look and I look. My leg doesn't grow back. Yes, I tell people I'm hard on things. People, too. Or so it seems, and especially hard on myself. You must have seen that coming. I work in threes. I remember three-legged races at our school's field day. Dixie cup ice cream for winners and losers. I came in third. Red licorice isn't licorice at all. My mother explained this to me while offering black licorice, her favorite indulgence along with the dried apricots in her night table. My leg below the left knee is gone. I look and I look and cannot remember what having the leg was like. No memory of it, no phantom pain. Lousy cartilage genetics, said the surgeon. Sorry. My shoulders are bone on bone. I say I am bone tired with elan and forgetfulness. My parents are dead. They died never needing to know I've lost a leg, below the knee. My mother would take it in stride. Doctors were for very near-death experiences. I don't need my leg to get on a tractor. Don't need a leg for anything. I'm ready. Go ahead. Take the other leg, too. There's a lot of pushback for disability rights, for a disability benefit. Well, how much is that going to cost? You know, it's just everybody is going to be on the dole and everybody will be sick. No one in our country should be too poor to live. For more information, visit victorns9.com and lookshow.ca. This Artivism Spotlight was brought to you by Disability Without Poverty.